So this is my second take, <clears throat> my second video of uh, restoring this uh, audio innovation 8, 800 uh, power amp, it's a Mark 1. Um, a few thoughts, uh, this resistor here, which is placed here on, on, the, on the schematics. The original was on this board, which I'm going to replace. Um, I don't like this board generally. Uh, somebody did some restoration here in the past and they didn't really do it um, full hearted, in my opinion. So, but what's on this board is um, you see the it's a 10 ohm resistor and um, Electrolyte and uh, and another resistor. That's actually what was is based here: the 10 ohm resistor and the electrolyte, and it's a 300 and um, 300 uh, 390 ohm resistor. Um, and that's for for both stages. This is just one side. So what I done? I divided this board into two. Take first this this part here. That's gonna be on this board now. This is how it's uh, gonna look. If I put it up here, yeah, that's a little bit with um, with how how the how the the mounting of of the output transformers are done right now. You can see here so there's a lot of space and there's not that much space. So they're not really aligned right now. So it, it doesn't fit in nicely. You can see it's 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 angled. So I'm gonna move it like this and then it should be looking nice. Uh, I was able to make some distance here uh, because there was space for it and then the wires are going, there's going to be a small wire from here to there, from here to there. Just put it here, you can see where it's going to be. And like from here to here and from here to here. Oh, sorry, I was focused. But okay, that, that's gonna, how it's going to be. Then uh, if you go back to the schematics, uh, you'll see here that uh, the C power is, is all set. This resistor I just showed you, and then there's the B power. And from the B power, you can see there is, there is an electrolyte. That would be that one. There's the there's a, another resistor uh, to have a fall in, um, in voltage, a voltage drop, um, and that would be that one. And then the last um, electrolyte, and then I had A output, which will be there. Um, I'm gonna put it above this part here. Uh, this is the mounting for the the line transformer. Um, they've been cut, so I'm gonna put new uh, screws there. That's higher, and then extend it, and then it'll be put above this part. Something like this. So um, in the end, it will be looking something like this, and then I gonna at some point I gonna redo this part also, but that probably be hardwired. So there will be another project uh, in the in the future. For now, I just wanna have it have it live again to see that that the replacing of the electrolytes and um, doing this part and this and this part is okay before I'm starting out with something here. I'm probably gonna have it running like this for quite a while, um, and I'm also gonna when I do this, uh, I'm gonna do a aluminium, aluminium plate that fits, and then I'm gonna put the sockets directly on the plate, and then wire from the beneath, so you have all the the components down here, instead of some some uh, most of it is is on the surface, so there will be no uh, touchable parts on the. I can even take off the lid, and nobody will be able to touch anything lethal <laughs> because it's it's a tubes and um, it's it's high voltages so um, this is this is uh, how it's uh, supposed to be looking my next video i hopefully will uh, have i should have 
assembled everything. I'll uh, show the video where I powered up. I'll put in both oscill oscillators on it um, and also put a voltage meter on it to see that that uh, how the how everything is looking. So um, I have a two ch channel uh, digital uh, oscillator. I'm gonna use that one to see that that the output uh, voltage is is uh, clear and nice, and also to to measure the the voltage. So, um, uh, and for that, when I'm going to do that, I'm not going to use uh, this, this uh, Bang & Olufsen uh, Vario. It's, it's um, separate from the mains. So, um, but that, that's, that's how I'm going to do it. So I can put it up uh, slowly and then to see that everything goes okay and there's no, nothing going wrong. Uh, I, I'm probably even going to do it without the output I'll put tubes in first just to see that the the PSU is okay. So that that's that's for the future. But um, hope you enjoyed it. See you.